What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Ooh. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? No. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Yes. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Everything is changing here. As a scientist, Let's... I'm fascinated. How are you doing, Max? Let's talk to him. Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More Oops, questions. Sorry for you. I just let go. Samuel didn't move. Him. always here to talk. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Let's find out different information. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because. You both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Yeah. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so that's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Oh. I literally just punched the boom arm. My nap broke and I'm trying to f break it fully now. It's irritating when it like dents in, you can't get rid of it. It's irritating. But I lift my arm up, I punch the microphone stand. The boom arm, whatever. Just like I always do. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. 
All right. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Hmm. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting, too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. Hmm. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max, while time is on your side. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they, they just cry. Oh. Not They're alone. not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Oh, I know it. Okay, never mind. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Michelle Grant, I'm yeah. very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. All right, I'm not gonna talk to you. Actually, actually. Hello, Squeewell. I shall. Look How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? I'm not doing that. Well, actually, I could if something bad happens. I could just, you know. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Get that food in your belly. Samuel misses his squirrels. There we go. That's cute.
I was actually afraid something was gonna happen. Which like something like happens. like Drake and Josh type stuff. Coast is clear. Coast isn't clear, there's people everywhere. It'd be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. That grumbling of the heaters pissing me off. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down. The that signal should be like... Now, oh! <laughs> uh, oh, man. Never do that sound again. Alright, stop lagging. Alright. Alright. All right. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on that roof. You're the only one who was there for me at the school. You were the only one who truly cared. I have I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Loved, love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey, Kate, I'm so gl glad you're... I almost said clad. I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. Max, how are you? I hope you could still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you, and your bunny misses you. Yay, you are, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. Love that you... Wait, I love you... I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course. I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Happy face. Oh, Kate brings it. So, okay. room 111 is the magic number. Or is that this way? No. Because that's six. That's seven. All right. Eight, nine, eleven. Let's break the fuck out of it. Alright, can I rewind? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. There we go. What? Alright. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you are her and getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I... I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on tr the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be good a good influence on her. Not Chloe. I know, Max. I still forget that you are still teenage adults. All right. Let's take a look at all the crap Nathan has in his room. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. <sighs> that is so Chloe. Yeah, so we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everyone what you did. And you are going to pay, mother flopper. And P3 player. Does he have, like... Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. The 
That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Probably. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Best son of the world. Oh, look at that. Ha ha ha, get out. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I'd take it. They can't prove shit. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. No. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. Screw that guy. You okay, know that guy? Definitely Fuck him. Definitely a map around here. Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. What is he doing? Can I take it? Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. No, take it and get rid of it. It's fucking weird. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Manual. Holy shit. Ooh. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Is that all I have to look for for now? Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. Stay, whatever. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking. I'm psyched. Okay, I'm picking up some serious pate fever, fa fevers, favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so I can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have the end of the world theme, let's do it on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Good. You roll. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nathan, I know this has been a stressful week for you. A stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk, if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as my father did, or as did my father. Whatever. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you will thank me someday. Don't worry about. Blackwell, the shithole town is gonna get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready and take over when the time is right. Don't fuck it up, son. You're Too my bad father. Nathan isn't more like his sister. She uh, sounds awesome. So much reading. And far away. Tudo, tudo bit from Brazil. I guess that's like hello. I guess I don't know. Little brother, it's been too long since I have heard from you, so please let me know. What's going on in your exciting Skulls <laughs> Life of Blackwell? Okay. Yes, Nathan be sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. $200. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. You can read that also. Taking up a little he bit too much time. He has everything in here except peace of mind. Ooh. Examining those. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? It's the couch, obviously. Pull it out. That's what happens. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Why is there just a random phone there? 
Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. All right, so. Well, before cool. Now it's opened. Okay, so leaving now. The Prescott's rule this town. <laughs> can I agree? All right, I, I wish I could draw like a penis on it. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Yes, we do. Ooh. 